What's poppin' YouTube? It's your man King D with an amazing, amazing show off of or showcase, I should say, not show off. But then again, King D is a motherfucker show off. That's why they call me King. But right now we're gonna showcase the PDP versus Fight Pad or what they better known as as what they call it, the RK style Michael Switch Tournament Edition Fighting Pad. Um, I'm tell you something real quick. This thing look sick. I feeling everything about it. I looked at it like numbers of times. Um, first of all, let me tell you where I got this from. Like I said from my last video, if you don't remember, I ordered this from GameStop for forty bucks. All right. Um, you can go to eBay and get it, but eBay people are actually selling these on eBay for like sixty, seventy bucks. Amazon the exact same way, sixty to seventy bucks. I would not spend that much on this. I understand, you know, they're very limited, they're very rare, they're very hard to find. But GameStop has a very lot of these that you can get. Like, I checked earlier today; they still saying that they have some that you can purchase. And I suggest if you're a big time fighting fan, you know, you pick this up. Or if you still using your 360 controller, you know, and but but you know, you're not really a stick person, you know, you're like, shit, I'm not wasting my money on a stick, but you can get a pad for 40 bucks, like I said, the pad is very nice that I'm looking at, but I'm telling you, this pretty much is a, is a must have either for a collector, or for a collector item, or a user standpoint, me personally, this is going to be a collector's item, this is standing in a box, I'm not taking it out of the box, it's not an unboxing at all, um, I'm really going to keep, keep this as a collector item. I, me personally, I'm keeping this as a collector item because I really do like it. And personally, I already have a Mad Cash pad I can use. I understand, you know, these are two different things. But you never know. I might get another one of these and actually use that one. And, and you know, keep, keep one of these, you know, buy another one and keep one of them in the box. And that's what I might end up doing. Um, so, like I said, PDP made this, not, not Mad Cats. So, I gotta say that again, I gotta stress that enough. I don't really like Mad Cats products at all. I mean, the only thing they really came out with was good was only the tournament edition sticks. Um, even even their SE sticks was a little bit on the bullshit side with the shitty ass stick, shitty ass buttons. Pretty much they gave you a good ass base from you for free to mod with. This, you know, um, so this, like I said, is made by PDP, so I don't think PDP people go wrong with people. Um, from all the reviews I heard from people, nobody really had gave bad reviews. I only heard one person gave a bad review, and his review pretty much was dumb. He, he, he pretty much didn't have nothing really bad to say about it, but he just said, you know, he just didn't like it. So, whatever. No, fuck about him. So, like I said, this is the Marvel Edition fight, uh, fight pad, or versus fighting pad. Um, so look at the box real quick. So here's the side, you know, it's saying this, you know, Marvel edition, saying, you know, versus fight pad again. But the the back of the box, I, I really do love, you know, it has that comic book feel to it, you know, with the words coming out at you like you're reading the comic book, you know, telling you what, what everything comes in the controller itself, that, you know, the back of start button is, is off the face of the, of the controller, just how the TE stick is. So this way you're not pressing any uh buttons while you're doing anything also too this do not have none of that bullshit ass turbo functions so all you little punk ass losers that want turbo function this does not have it because i'm glad it doesn't this definitely does not need it um technically no fighting games need turbo function that's to me is a bitch move <coughs> excuse me um it, it lets you know too that this has a six button layout it has michael switches arcade you know precision buttons um like you know, too, they had grip on the bottom of the uh, controller, and they also let you know it had Michael Switch's arcade performance, a precision stick, also or controller as as it says on the box. So um, let's open this, let's, let's open this bad boy up, and let's really see what the pad itself look like. All right, first of all, let's see what the lid look like. Here, here, here once again, the artwork it shows the also on the controller. Um, close up. Um, right here is the exact same thing with the back says. And I'm stand up for this. Uh, here is the pad itself. The pad looks very nice. I'm telling you. I'm sorry. Cause I, I got, got my lamp on. It was overly dark. I had to uh, redo this video because it was overly dark last time I did it. Um, but yeah. Anyway. 
So if you see it, if you can see it, um, hopefully my like I said, my lamp is not over overpowering the uh the color of it. Like I said, the artwork is very nice. I'm not taking out the box, like I said once again. The artwork is very nice. Um this what they mean by micro switches, it makes the same type noise as any any arcade stick that you touch, whether it be sand wall or non sand wall, it all makes these noise let you know, you know, the what direction you're heading. Um, I heard from two people actually that the stick plays very much like the arcade stick. So pretty much if you're gonna be trying to um let's say mash your your dragon punch or anything like that, if that type of motion, it's not gonna happen. Um you probably could match it and it may happen to come out, but I heard just take a little more um, more precise and skill to pull off some of your moves. Just like you can't just be matching and flinging around your uh, your thumb and, and pray to God that, that you may get a dragon punch. So I heard, um, I'm not really sure about that. Like I said, I could stand in the box. Um, you also hear, it had the same, as you hear with this, the button make the exact same clicking noise. Um, I kind of like the resistance of these buttons. I like how, you know, it, it feels like I'm not pressing on a button and it feel like it'll get stuck in there. Because sometimes, you know, over time, buttons tend to get worn out and they and they start feeling like they get stuck inside the controller. I, I kind of feel like these whenever never do that, which I do like. Um, I said the artwork is very nice. also like where, you know, the tape they have on here says very big. It says Marvel on it. So, um, also, too, for our... Um, Forget about mentioning this. You notice the left side of the of the D-pad actually is bigger than the right side. Supposedly, you know, this gives you better um, precision when you're holding the controller. Like I said, me personally, I'm I may um, rebuy another one of these and you know play it and let you know how it, how it really plays out. Um, my thing is, um, it seems it looks kind of high. It looks high. Um, I like I said, I really do want to uh, know how it is. So I'm I, so I really will probably most likely. Probably within the next month, if the game stop still has some, I will rebound a little one of these and open it up so I can know how that can, you know, why I like this and see how it feels in my hands. Um, first of all, before I even end this video, let's compare this to the <coughs> Mad Cat's Fight Pad. Pretty much exactly the same type of design, just that right here, it, it's, it's chopped off where, you know, this side longer than the other. Um, the only thing I can say that I... Or, or I can tell that I like the PDP um, pad itself. Like, you know, instead of this, this directional pad they have going on here. Um, that's the main thing. I think PDP really has beat them over Mad Cats. Um, also, too, I noticed that um, both sticks actually have, as I call it, the American-style layout of the of the buttons, if you if you notice. Um, mostly, I think, actually, I think the PDP actually had more of the RK style layout buttons than uh, Mad Cat. It, it has like some more of that curve of the Japanese style, but I think PDP actually um, nailed that down just perfectly. Um, also, too, I noticed that the PDP pad also put the buttons much more closer together, like the American style, like the American style RK layout than the um, Mad Cat. Mad Cat have just a little bit more gap than the PDP pad. I noticed, and um, I guess. Shit, I guess if you had massive big ass hands, I mean my hand, my my thumb is not like overly fat where I, it's gonna be fucking me up. So, so I mean I have heard somebody complain about that, but I don't think it'd be overly bad. Um, so um, like I said, the artwork, actually artwork, of course you know on both of these are, are very nice. Of course you know this is Street Fighter, you know that's that's Marvel. Um, like I said, both of these me personally are very fun and doable. If you still, like I said, if I understand you know people, if you can't find this. These are still in GameStop. I can, you know, I, I have seen a Viper one at, at one of my GameStop. I've also seen a T-Hawk at another GameStop. So these you can find very easily. And this still will do the trick. I mean, this this is very nice because it's new. Um, Like I said, the, these are very hard to find. Very to supply, as I'm hearing. So I guess, like I said, once again, you know, if you really, you really like what you're looking at and you really like you know, everything about it, then, you know, um, hurry up and go to GameStop.com to uh get this um also too um that's the anal also that's pretty much it youtube yeah that i mean shit they ain't nothing really say about that i'm gonna cut this video short so um that's about it youtube you see the showcase of the pdp marvel edition fight pad that's gonna stay in the box and then of course like i said the comparison to the mad cats 
Mad Cat uh, fight pass. So it's just candy coming at y'all. One.